All right, so a couple days ago, I had my tires rebalanced and rotated at Discount Tire, and in the midst of the whole chaos of the project, they totally forgot to fill up my tires. Nice. So, it gives me an opportunity to test out my new rigid 18-volt inflator. So this is a tire inflator, a little portable job, works off of the 18-volt lithium-ion battery platform that Rigid has, and I absolutely love it. Um, from a convenience standpoint, this little tool will get the job done because I hate whipping out the whole big compressor with the big pneumatic lines and everything just to fill up tires. If this gets the job done, and even though it takes a minute or two longer, it's way more convenient than pulling out the massive compressor to do the project. So anyway, um, the compressor itself operates on two modes. One is manual, so if I hit the button here, you could see, let's see. You could set the manual mode by turning it left or right so this outer black dial rotates. You can see it's in manual mode. So if I plug this into the tire and I just hit the trigger here, it'll inflate the tire to whatever I let go of that button at. It's so fine. the other mode that I really like is auto mode. So when it's in auto mode, what you could do is set the tire pressure that you want the tire at, hit the button, and you could basically just leave it to do its thing. It's gonna stop once it hits that PSI set point. So pretty slick system. So these guys run at around 54 PSI is what I like to keep them at. I don't keep them at 55 because I have larger tires. So let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in and I'll show you how to set this thing using the auto mode to the set point via PSI and then we'll see how this guy operates. One last thing before we fill the tire, I know a lot of people like to keep air compressors and everything in their truck. So if you remove the battery, you will see Let's see if you remove the battery you will see a blue plug or a plug on the bottom of the tool itself this comes in the kit so it's a cigarette lighter adapter you just plug this in and you can basically power the compressor off of your truck's cigarette lighter adapter or whatever adapter you want to build for your truck to run this so i know a lot of people like to take their trucks out to beaches and, they and then they keep a compressor with them once they get back on the regular ground so this is definitely a tool that you can keep with it, it has a really nice nozzle that fits nicely onto the uh, valve stem of the truck as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in and I'll show you how to operate it. All right, so the little 18 volt inflator is installed. You can see it's a nice uh, solid connection on the valve stem itself. So to turn the tool on, we just give the trigger a little blip here and it'll take us to our mode. So right now it's gonna tell us the PSI in the tire. I'm roughly at 45, 46 PSI and I'm in manual mode. So if I were to go ahead and hit the trigger here, <laughs> It's only gonna operate when I hit that trigger. So I brought the PSI just up a bit here. Now, what I'm gonna do here is set it to auto. So on auto, on auto, what we're gonna wanna do now is set it to the PSI we want it at. So I like to run my front tires at 54 PSI. Now all we need to do is go ahead and hit this. And it'll inflate the tires. All right, so there you go. It stops right at 54, which is our set point PSI. Right on the money. Anyway, what you sacrifice in quickness, and I know this isn't gonna blow up your tires like a regular large air compressor is, but this is super convenient, and I like it because it's something I could just keep on my, my, my workbench and then just throw a battery in there when I need to inflate the tires, and something I can move around without having, again, to pull out the whole pneumatic hose that I have on the other side. Complete bear, especially when it's cold outside. Anyway, that's my uh, two cents on the rigid 18 volt air compressor. I think it's totally worth it. Nice little tool to have in the garage, particularly in the cold climates. But again, if you wanna have an air compressor on the road as well, this definitely works for that because it has that plug-in feature as well. I'm slowly switching over all of my tools over to rigid. So this is one of, I think, 10 tools I have now um, that I use on my truck pretty regularly. So. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But what do you think of my first tool review? Uh, Trying to feature things that I think are helpful for you all. But let me know what you think. Should I keep doing these or not? But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe below. Appreciate it. Bye.